This is Dr. Patrick Hu, CEO of Moffitt Cancer Center. We're real happy to be here coming to you from ASCO 2023, Chicago, Illinois, with Dr. Rowan Fairmont from our bone marrow transplant group. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here at ASCO and see all of the progress that's been made in the treatment of cancer care and hopefully bring these novel therapies to our patients at Moffitt. So you're doing a presentation. Why don't you tell me what that's about and what's, what's the title of your talk? Sure, so my title of my talk is Much Ado about ALL CAR-T. So the focus of my discussion was discussing the three oral abstracts that are looking at CAR-T cell therapy for relapse refractory ALL. So we had one study, which was the Felix study, looking at Albacel, which is a novel second generation CAR-T cell therapy for adults with relapse refractory ALL. What was very encouraging about this study was the toxicity profile which was very compelling for severe CRS and ICANS compared to the commercial products that are available. This study did meet its primary endpoint with an objective response rate of 76%. So we were very excited about that. We did participate in that study at the Moffitt Cancer Center. The other um, abstract that I discussed was the ROCA analysis, which was a real-world retrospective study of patients treated with the Bruxicel for a refractory relapse ALL. We did lead the initial Zuma 3 study by Dr. Bijal Shah that led to the FDA approval of this um, product. And it was really interesting to see how this product um, plays out in the real world setting because many of those patients would not have been available or eligible for the clinical trial. And we did see very encouraging response rates at 91%, which is amazing. And these patients who have been heavily pre-treated and we saw overall acceptable safety profile. We're still delving in deeper about the neurotoxicity because we did see a little bit of a higher rate than expected at 38%. And this is a multi-center US collaborative study that we participate in at Moffitt. So we're looking forward to our ongoing collaborative efforts to learn more about how this product plays out in the real world setting. And then last but not least, we looked at a CD5 CAR T cell product that was presented by Dr. Lakisa Hill from Baylor for patients with TALL, which is a very challenging leukemia to treat. So overall, very exciting data for ALL. Yeah, so tell me just a little bit about ALL. So what does sure. that stand for, ALL? Sure, so ALL is acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is overall a pretty rare leukemia. It's seen in about 0.3% of cancer cases, but it is my passion project. It's mostly seen in pediatric patients, but then you see another kind of blip in ALL in older adults. And traditionally, the older adults have been a very challenging population to treat because they don't tolerate chemotherapy as well. So it's been very encouraging to see now cell therapy growing in that space and hopefully moving it to earlier lines of therapy so we can treat more patients with CAR-T for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So the cell that's malignant is a lymphocyte, so Correct. it's mostly a B lymphocyte, the kind of cell that ultimately makes your antibodies, right? It does. But there's a rarer kind that's coming from our T cells, right? Mm -hmm. That's the one you said had a new CD5 specific. Correct, right? so TALL comprises about 25% of patients with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, it's a little bit more challenging to treat and more challenging to develop CAR T cell therapy for TALL because the malignant T cells have the same antigen as the healthy T cells. So both CD5 and CD7 are expressed on normal healthy T cells. So then the CAR T cells have this process called fratricide where they can prevent proliferation of the CAR T cells when it has shared antigen expression. So there's a lot more in development in that space. I see, so how'd they do it? How'd they put in a receptor that could kill the other T cells? Correct, so there's a lot of novel therapies to look at that with um, gene blocking and CRISPR, yeah. trying to improve upon these strategies. But yeah. it continues to be a challenge. We haven't seen as great of data yet, but I'm um, hopeful that it's gonna be coming sure. the next few years. Wonderful, well thanks uh, for being here today and Thank sharing you. so much knowledge. Uh, Dr. Rowan Fairmont from our bone marrow transplant group at Moffitt Cancer Center. Thank you for having me.